Donner. Yes. What time is it? Ah, uh, it's eight o'clock, sir. It's three minutes after. Hey, do you think I got to where I am today by showing up at three minutes after eight? Sorry, Skip. I had car problem. <laughs> I don't give a rat's ass about your car, Donner. Your hours of work are eight to five. Not three minutes after. Not two minutes after. Okay. Eight to five. Right. I understand. Yes. So glad you contacted Future Trade. received one of your internet ads on my computer. Fill these out. Have a seat. Someone will be right with you. Thanks. Future Trade, may I help you? This is Grant, your reception. Is introductory offer? This is Grant, your reception. Mm -hmm. Look, the only reason I'm here is that your ads keep popping up on my computer screen. Home or the office? Uh, both. Market research. Are your advertising ploys more like it. We don't need advertised employees. Mr. Donner, our product sells itself. All we do is target a very specific, discerning consumer who fits our client profile. Look, let's not waste each other's time right out of the gate. You seem like a smart man. You middle management? I have sales, actually. Sales, only 30 grand a year, three weeks off. 27.5, two weeks off, not consecutive. So your man deserves better, a lot better. So you weren't born into the right zip code, so no one handed it to you on a silver platter. Few of us can be Kennedys, Mr. Donner. For the rest of us, there's future trade. I don't understand. Futures. We trade futures. What, like the stock market? No. People's futures. Uh, Mr. Gordon, I happen to be a salesman myself, OK? I'm pretty good at it, and I've used them all, seen it all before. Just give me the fine print, OK? That is the fine print. That's what we do. We trade people's futures. Let me explain. Mr. Jones comes to us with a problem. He's not happy with his lot in life, and he prefers to say Mr. Smith's life. So we contact Mr. Smith. We lay out a prospectus, and if Mr. Smith likes Mr. Jones's life, then we simply broker the transaction. What transaction? Well, Mr. Smith's future becomes Mr. Jones's, and Mr. Jones's future becomes Mr. Smith's. Ta-da. Then that's it? That's it. Of course, we do charge a small commission. Aha! Simply for handling a deal, I assure you, it's an equitable fee for what we provide. But Pete, your interest yet? You do want a different life, don't you? Who wouldn't in my position? My job sucks. My wife hates me. Kids don't even know I'm alive. I understand. I could have been somebody. You still can be. Come on. What if I wanted to be six foot five and built like a linebacker? Now, unfortunately, that's not how it works. To yourself, you look exactly the same. To everyone else, however, you'll be a new man. Just uh, think of it like this, Martin. You're stepping into another man's shoes. His life becomes yours, your life becomes his. What other man? We keep files on people, ordinary people like yourself looking for a change. Can I see these files? No, they're private and confidential, I'm sorry. Well, how am I supposed to choose? Well, that's what the questionnaire is for. Think of it like a dating service. You tell us what you want, and we provide a match. Can I be rich? Very, very rich? Oh, yeah. Can I live in a big house? Sure. Can I, can I have a, a, a gorgeous wife, a 10, one who can cook and clean? 
What if it's not a good match? Hey, as long as you call and cancel within 24 hours, there's no penalty. Then what? Well, after that, we ask for a two-year commitment, or we charge a hefty cancellation fee. Uh, an another fee. I knew it. Only if you cancel. Hey, would you please activate Mr. Donner's file? Yes, sir. Thank you. Any other hidden fees I should know about? Anything else? Uh, no, not that I can think of. Nothing? Mm, nope. This is your prospectus, the confidentiality agreement, any other pertinent information you may need. Oh, and, uh, these. Keys, what for? House, car, boat. Boat? Mm -hmm. What do you say, huh? Salesman is salesman. You want to trade your future, Mr. Donner? Boat? Welcome aboard the good ship Future Trade, Mr. Donner. Hope you enjoy the ride. Jack and I let me jump on that candlestick. Maria. You're stunning. You're beyond stunning. How are you feeling? Okay, honey? Hmm? Get a room. That would be a good idea. How was it? Uh, what? Your swim. Oh, amazing. Yes, really? Yeah, I always wanted a swimming pool growing up. I thought you had one. I did. Uh, I just forgot how much I love swimming in it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Where is this newfound energy coming from all of a sudden? I don't know. I feel like a new man. <laughs> Yes, you are. Well, your timing is perfect, because I just finished cooking you. Wait, 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 wait. You actually cooked this? Your favorite meal? Papaya salad, grilled chili and sea bass, e penne arrabbiata. 
That is my favorite meal. <laughs> well, two new things to come. I'm all for it. waiting? Hi. They've been here since 8, sir. The board. Right, 8 a.m., not three minutes after, not two minutes after. Uh, get me a vanilla latte with chocolate sprinkles on top and tell them I'll be in there shortly. And judging by our quarterly revenue projections, we're looking at a 15% increase across the board. Increase? Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better than good, sir. The trustees have just approved a three-for-one stock split next month, meaning your uh, executive bonus package will be well over seven figures this year. Oh, and did I mention the SEC just approved your 300% salary increase? <laughs> Look, I'm a salesman. I know every trick in the book, and I know that this deal is too good to be true. There's got to be some kind of a catch. Look, most of our clients have a hard time believing their good fortune. I mean, what? would possibly possess a guy to give up such a perfect life. Oh, maybe he had enough. Enough of what? The money, the, 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 the house, the gourmet food? Francesca, come on. A client's information is private, just as yours is. What do you mean, mine? Look, the man who stepped in your shoes doesn't know any more about you than you know about him. That's right. Somebody's living my life right now. With Carol. If you're having buyer's remorse, Martin, you can always cancel the trade, as long as it's within the first 24 hours, which would make your introductory offer expire at uh, 8 o'clock tonight. Sharp. this morning. Well, maybe I'm working a little too hard. Maybe I need to take it a little bit easier. Are you feeling all right? Who's the guy in the SUV? What guy? The good-looking one. The one that nearly became a hood ornament. Oh, that's Eduardo. You weren't supposed to see him. Obviously. Then tell me you're jealous. So who is this guy? He's uh, nobody, just a delivery guy. Mm, delivery guy who likes to drink wine. Darn it. It was supposed to be a surprise. Well, I'm surprised. And a little jealous. Okay. 
a little jealous? We were celebrating. Really? Celebrating what? Celebrating the end of my search. You have no idea how long I've been looking for this for you. Well, are you going to open it? <laughs> 18th century, Bolivia. Because you love traveling to South America so much. I had a collector track it down for you. I say, thank you. You're Expecting someone? Hmm? No. Feeling all right? I feel great. Things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. I can feel it. It's like I've woken up from this deep slumber and realized all the things that I've been missing. From now on, I am going to live the life that I deserve. And I'm going to have all the things that have been denied me so long. <laughs> really? I've never known you to deny yourself of anything. Cars, houses, women. <laughs> women? What are you talking about? You're the only woman I need. You've always had a wicked sense of humor, haven't you? Hmm? I suddenly feel very dizzy. That's okay. That's the curare. What? Don't you remember? You're the first one who told me about it. It's a powerful muscle relaxer. See, you said the Indians use it to hunt. They put some on the tip of the arrows. See, what I didn't know is that by mixing it with alcohol, brandy, let's say, oh. it doesn't leave any trace. Fascinating, isn't it, Abby? Oh, it's your dream. I got it. I've got exercise. I thought you had figured it out a dozen times. You've been acting so funny lately. And then this afternoon, coming home early, Running into Eduardo. I thought you were smarter than that. Oh. Sorry, love. This is one deal you can't talk yourself out of. Especially when that deal is brokered in the Twilight Zone. 